Mike Bot here. Back today with another product review, another product purchased off of Amazon, of course. Today's review is going to be on the Fosmon or Fusmon, however you pronounce that, ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. So this uh, cleaner is not specifically just for jewelry. It also does um, basically anything. So you could do your watch, your glasses, um, uh, your mouth guard if you have one of those. Um, many, many, many different things. There is no limit. So what makes this really unique is it's a, um, it, it, it's a digital version of a, an ultrasonic cleaner, same one that jewelers use. So I'm going to be doing a full review, unboxing, and then a demo on the product itself. So this specific unit here has 18 preset cycles. It has a 600 milliliter stainless steel tank. And uh, you don't need to use any chemicals. It's just simple water. Uh, what it does, it ultrasonically uh, sends pulses, I guess, through the water, cleaning everything. It'll polish your jewelry off as well. I'm not sure if it'll remove tarnish off of silver. It'll be something I'll have to test out and uh, check out for all of you. So, supposed to be as simple as a three-button design process for this device. I've never owned one of these, and um, I'm going to be unboxing it and checking it out for the first time as I'm presenting this. So it's also supposed to come with an arch stand for your watches, comes with a basket for your jewelry, and it's a compact design, so it's not a massive unit, it's not supposed to take up a lot of space. Um, so to um, mention it again, it's a 600 milliliter tank or 20 ounces of water. Okay, so first thing we see in the box, I'll just put the camera up here to show you all is an instruction manual. I'll have to read this through before I do the demo. And that's pretty much it in the box, other than this little card here, which gives you free lifetime warranty. I will be taking full advantage of that. So yeah, it is clearly quite compact. Okay, so the usual US plug, a uh, little lid here, open this up. So yeah, there's the arch stand for the watches and here's the basket. This feels really cheap and I'm pretty sure it's gonna break if you're not fragile with it. Same with the basket. Again, um, this unit I think cost me 60 bucks, so it's not a lot of money. So there's a stainless steel tank. I'm just going to zoom in here to show you the max fill line. The unit itself is fairly light, plastic, feels durable. Uh, I guess the test of time will really tell. All right, so that's it for this part here. Um, next, I'm going to go and plug it in upstairs or in another room and uh, start the demo of the unit. There's not really much more to show off here. Okay, so in preparation for this video, I've gone ahead and filled the uh, reservoir up with some water. Uh, as you notice, I did not put it all the way to the max line because I figured when I put the basket in with uh, the items I'm going to be cleaning, it's going to raise the water level. So I'll adjust accordingly. So I've gone ahead and uh, picked just a wide range of miscellaneous things to uh, test out with the machine. So I have a fake cheap gold ring, a real gold ring with uh, 18 carats, white and yellow gold with about a carat of diamonds in there. Uh, one of my cheapest watches, a mixed bracelet of diamonds, gold and silver. Some silver, high quality silver, lower quality silver, 24 karat gold chain. Um, a cheap stainless steel uh, necklace with a little uh, pendant on it and then uh, another silver necklace there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the machine in like so and then I'm going to take the little basket and I'm going to just put the items in here. I haven't added anything into this machine other than water. It does say you can add dish soap to it uh, if you need to, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead with just plain simple water. So now I'm just going to keep an eye, make sure it doesn't go over the fill line. 
the max line it says specifically not to i don't even know if this watch is waterproof hopefully it is so i'm going to go ahead and close the lid like so so from here we're going to press the on off button the machine is now on the default cycle is 300 seconds which is five minutes the buzzing sound is supposed to be normal you can stop uh, the cycle at any time by clicking off apparently so there are 18 cycles in total and i'm just going to open the sheet here and read the cycles out so there's um anything from 90 seconds up to 30 minutes you can uh, reset the timer by hitting the reset button there i'm just going to do five minutes for the sake of this video i will obviously cut at some point and uh, wait till it's done and then continue the video i did not use the watch stand for my watch which is probably a dumb decision because I'm assuming that that part's supposed to keep the watch from being submerged. Yeah, it is supposed to make sure that it's not supposed to be submerged. So just to be safe, I'm taking my watch out. So as you see here, I prepared a microfiber cloth to take all the uh, gold and silver and fake stuff out. Just gonna make a little adjustment and let it do its thing. So that's what it looks like in there. So it's simple as that. So I'm just going to cut here and I'll continue the video as soon as the timer is done. So we're down to about 33 seconds. Figured it'd be a good time to uh, continue the video and chat a little bit. So uh, I'm going to do my watch as well, actually, just for the sake of this video. Once this timer goes off, I'm going to put my watch here and throw it in there as well and do another quick little demo on it. So uh, the moment of truth in 10 seconds, I'm going to pull the jewelry mix out, put it on my microfiber cloth, which is off to its left. And uh, hopefully we'll, we're gonna notice a difference. And it's done. Let me just grab my camera here. That drip. There. One, there's the gold, silver, fake gold that didn't fade away, which is why I did that test. Real gold and diamonds. Don't really see uh, any difference there. This, I think I see a difference. I'm not sure if you do, let me know. I use cold water as well. I don't know if it makes a difference if you use cold or warm water. I use cold filtered water. This is my silver and diamond bracelet. Another silver bracelet there. Another silver one there, and then a gold necklace. So that's what it looks like. Let me know if you all notice any difference. I'm just gonna turn my extra light off to see. Like so. Okay, so next. Let's do the watch. So I'm going to leave the basket in there. I'm going to throw in this watch stand. It's actually not fully emerging my watch. Um, I'm going to throw my one of my nicer watches in as well. Okay, I'm just going to go grab some water really quick just to top it up and then now we'll start the cycle again okay so so far first impressions I'm not entirely sure if five minutes is enough I guess the only way to really test it is to have something extremely dirty and uh test it out that way so while it does its thing for the watches i'm going to grab the microfiber cloth with the jewelry just uh rub them down and display them on camera first thing yes i do notice a major difference on this this is stainless steel it's not even real jewelry next my silver and gold with diamond bracelet 
Uh, I do notice a difference actually because it looked pretty uh, dirty before. So, so far this device is passing. This really cheap, cheap ring that's worth nothing. Looks all nice and shiny. And my old wedding ring. The diamonds are shining nice and bright. The gold looks looks a little shinier too. Kind of curious now if I put the cycle on longer. This uh, cheap silver, this might even be stainless steel, is it? No, nope, it's silver. But this cheap silver bracelet, I say cheap because I it's really old. Uh, it did not remove the tarnish from the silver. So this could be another experiment I can try on camera. Actually, I'm going to add some dish soap and then run a longer cycle. So I'm going to put that aside to test it again. This here, a really nice silver bracelet, also still looks tarnished. I will try the soap. Another silver necklace here. I'm going to throw it in with the rest of the silver mix, why not? This Italian silver necklace looks pretty good. But I will throw it in as well for another round. My pendant here looks nice and shiny. I'm not going to throw that in again. And then my thin gold necklace. I'm not going to throw that one in for another round. But I will throw this guy in as well. I'm just going to take a look here really quick. And see if there's anything else I want to add. Now this next one is going to be like a more intense cycle I'm going to do. So I might as well just throw in all my silver. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put warm water into the the soap cycle as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause it here. Once the cycle's done, I'll start the next step. And the watches are done. Hard to tell. This one's also hard to tell. Take out the watch guard. Okay, I'm gonna go dump this water out, put in warm water and a bit of dish soap. Okay, so I filled it up with warm water. One thing I wanna add is when I dumped out the old water, it was discolored, so it's definitely doing something. I'm just gonna add a drop of this. This is really potent stuff, it's called Dom Platinum. Throw the jewelry in. Water levels at. Okay, I don't think I need a top up. So I'm gonna plug the machine in again. This time I'm gonna increase the time. Uh, what's a good time? 720 is 12 minutes. Let's do 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna let it do its thing for 15 minutes and then I'll resume the video at that point. Okay, so we still have a bit of time going here. Another 300 seconds to go. So I figured it'd be a good time just to reiterate what I was saying earlier about the different things you can use this machine for. So again, uh, jewelry and watches, of course. So necklaces, earrings, rings, bracelets, um, coins, waterproof watches, uh, watch straps and bands. So if you have a digital watch, just put the strap or the band in, not the actual watch. Unless it's waterproof, of course, like Samsung or iPhone-y. Um, for eye care, apparently you can do glasses, sunglasses, contact lens accessories. Uh, daily personal care, you can do dentures, combs, toothbrushes, uh, razor blades, electric shaver heads, nail clippers, tweezers. And then uh, apparently you can do small household items too, like utensils, tableware, keys, uh, scissors. Um, can't think of anything else off the top of my head. So we're gonna let this keep going for a little longer. And then uh, we're gonna, well, we as in me, I'm gonna unplug it, uh, drain the water, clean the inside of the tank, and we're gonna take a look at the uh, jewelry status. That's what it looks like now. So I'll see you back in uh, 210 seconds. So we got 19 seconds left. And then uh, I'm going to empty it out and see what the jewelry looks like. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Water 
water is still warm because I used warm water when I did this. down, everything open, and I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down with the microfiber cloth, and then we'll take a look and see. So that's what everything looks like at the moment. Once I give it a quick wipe with this uh, uh, microfiber cloth, uh, I'll do another uh, quick little uh, skim over the product like so, my jewelry, take it from there. So for now, I'm going to go and empty this out, rinse it out and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I've just put everything here against the, uh, the black um, background of the table. So I'll start with the ring. I wipe these all down just now really quickly from excess moisture. The water was discolored again, in case you're wondering. Yeah, this definitely looks a lot cleaner. Looks like it got rid of uh, some of the tarnish as well, which is great. So I did use some of the, uh, yeah, it definitely removed the tarnished silver. So it definitely uh, adding that soap in, I think made a big difference. This one here is pretty rough shape, but still looks clean. As you can see, the high end silver came out extremely, extremely shiny. Especially this one here. This one hasn't been cleaned in years. Look at that guy too was pretty dirty. Uh, you know what? I think overall, I'm very satisfied with this purchase. So uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually uh, test out some things like a night guard and utensils. You won't see those on videos. Uh, if somebody asks in the comments, I will reply. I might want to adjust my microphone. If somebody asks in the, co in the comments, I'll let you know how it went out, how it turned out with the dentures and all that stuff. And by dentures, of course, I mean night guard, uh, as well as kitchen utensils and all that. But other than that, uh, we're good here. Great device, highly recommend you purchase it if you're looking for a budget ultrasonic cleaner. It's a bit of condensation on the lid, so I just opened it up. Uh, thank you all again for watching. Please uh, like my channel, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. That's your way of saying um, thank you for making these videos. We appreciate it, we support you. Mike Bot out.